This video is sponsored by Storyblocks Video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create a liquid logo animation into After Effects without using any third party plugins, just 100% shape layers. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions, and without any further ado, let's get started. If you have ever been in the need for a quick video clip for a b-roll, after effects template or motion backgrounds then Storyblocks video is for you. I personally use Storyblocks for my YouTube videos, client projects and many other different stuff. There are times when your creative needs are compromised due to low budget. For example, let's say I am shooting a short film and my location is near Statue of Liberty and I want an aerial footage of Statue of Liberty and taking a drone shot would exceed my budget because drone shots are not that cheap. That is when Storyblocks video comes in and I can easily search for an aerial footage of the Statue of Liberty and use it in my video. Storyblocks is a subscription based resource providing unlimited downloads of royalty free stock footages, motion backgrounds and after effects templates. All videos are 100% royalty free and you can keep all the media forever. New clips are added regularly so there is always something fresh to download. Make sure to check out Storyblocks video, the link will be down in the description. Alright so here we are in After Effects, let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this main. 1920 by 1080 30 fps 10 seconds should be good hit ok let's create one more composition for our logo and let's rename this to logo hit ok and for the logo i'll just pretty quickly create a very simple minimal looking logo just as you saw in the example let's create an ellipse align this into the center and I'll add an S to it. You can of course use your logo. And there we have our very simple logo. Now let's go back into the main composition and drag in the logo comp into the main comp. And for the moment, I'm gonna hide it. Let's select the pen tool. And now I'm gonna try to create a very simple shape. Let's first of all, change the color to white. And right off the bat, let's start creating a shape. So I'm gonna just click and drag maybe zoom in a bit and try to create a nice liquidy shape you don't need to be very precise with this just go on creating something like that you can of course take your time i'm doing it very roughly right now but it's pretty simple you just need to click and drag just to create a more smooth shapes and you don't need to worry about it you can later on you know fix the shapes when you're done once creating the complete shape just like that just try to make it as random as possible and once you know if you disconnect with the shape you can hold alt and click on the last point and then you can continue just like so Maybe this is a bit too big, so I'll make this smaller. Maybe something like that. And finally, I'll just finish this up by creating a shape like so. Now you can go ahead and fix this. So right here, you can see we have a very sharp edge. So I'll try to fix that like so. And I will say that just take your time while doing this. Okay. This looks a bit weird. So I'll just make this more. Okay. Just make sure that it lo it looks like liquid, right? Try to fix this one. Just like that. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. Now let's 
select the layer call this maybe liquid you can of course call it whatever that you want i'm just gonna call this liquid let's turn on the logo layer and then hit f4 if you don't see the track mat option and change the track mat of the logo to luma mat now if i select the liquid you can see we have it right here i'll just align it in the position that i want and maybe i'll hit s and scale this a bit just like so all right and now if i select this you can see we can animate this and this is going to give us a very interesting look right so let's select the layer and hit r to rotate it by maybe 45 degrees or something like 42 degrees looks good okay let's go to two seconds select the layer and hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe go back in time and let's bring this out just like so so now we have a pretty simple animation which looks like this right very simple let's select it and hit f9 to ease, ease the keyframes so we have the animation but right now it doesn't look like you know like a liquid so let's select the layer and add an effect called turbulence displace there we go let's increase the amount to around 70 percent and for the size i'll bring this down to let's go with 30 or something like that yep that looks much better and now you can see we get this very interesting liquidy animation now you can of course play around with different settings to get the desired look if you want to go really intense you can just increase this you know you can go totally crazy with this but i think this amount looks good you can also play around with the complexity if you want to to give it a different look as you can see pretty interesting so try to play around with different number of settings to create a different look but you get the idea of what i'm going for so now let's add one more effect that is roughen edges and for the scale i'll just increase the scale to around maybe 110 just so that the edges are not that smooth now you can see we get this really cool look i think this is much better than the example that i created to show you guys so yeah that is that pretty simple now let's select both the layers and hit ctrl d to duplicate it maybe i'll move this a bit forward in time select the second layer that is the logo layer and add a fill onto this and many people ask me what this console is. This is a FX console from Video Copilot, which is absolutely free to download. If you don't have this console, you can simply go into Windows and FX and preset, and you can type in fill right here. But use FX console, it's gonna save you a lot of time while working, you know, in After Effects and increase your workflow as well. So I highly recommend you guys. Let's change the color to white. And now you can see we have a pretty interesting animation actually it has a little bit of more complexity into it you can also create number of copies maybe two three copies and make it look more interesting but i think this is pretty good for now let's select all the layers hit u so we can see just the keyframes let's select the keyframes go into the graph editor now if your graph editor is not looking like this then make sure to right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag it holding shift to the left just like that maybe this one as well so now we have a much interesting animation so the animation start in fast and then ends up slowly and that is what i am going for okay pretty good now let's go ahead and create those lines that you saw that hits up the circle and yeah before you move forward let's select this logo and add a simple choker because right now you can see we can see the white logo from right here kind of anti-aliasing issues so i'll make this to one so now we fix that and that is that let's select all the layers hit ctrl shift and c to pre-compose the layers and call this maybe logo animation all right now let's select the pen tool we don't need any fill for this so i'm going to set this to none we just need the stroke i'll set this to around maybe five pixels and turn on the title action safe 
and then what i can do is i can create a very interesting path now you can of course create any kind of path that you want to create but i'm going to make it very simple right now you can totally make it more complex if you want to but for now i'm just going to go with a very simple path because my you know my idea here is just to give you guys the the techniques of creating stuff so that you guys can create your own stuff i don't want to just show you guys like do this do this and bam there you have it i'm not teaching your i'm the main point of my tutorial is not to teach you guys how to use after effects but, but to teach you guys how to create something in after effects so you guys can use your own ideas and create more interesting things than what i show into the tutorials so that is the main concept behind my tutorial i hope um, that makes sense anyway so here we have our line let's call this line okay let's solo this up and add a trim part to this trim parts and now we can animate the stroke so let's go at the very beginning go into trim parts bring down the end property to zero create a keyframe go to around maybe let's go to 20 frames set this to 100 go back create a keyframe on the start property go a bit forward and set this to 100 so now we have a very simple stroke animation as you can see but i think it's a bit too fast let's set this to one second yep also let's go into the shape stroke set the line cap to rounded cap oh there we go then i can select the layer and hit u select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and push all the handles to the right just like so so we have a pretty simple animation as you can see so now when it hits the circle right here maybe i'll move this a bit just like so okay so when it hits right here i want the circle to start animating or the logo to start its animation so i'll move it just like so maybe and bam there we go maybe it's a bit too far so i'll just zoom in and move them a bit closer just like so so now when it hits there we go there we have our animation pretty cool yep that is looking much better let's select the line and add a turbulent displace on this one as well for the amount i'll bring this really low also for the size i'm going to bring this down just a touch so yeah that is looking much better maybe i'll increase the size a bit right here it's a bit too much i'll bring down the amount a bit okay so that is looking pretty cool i think it's a bit too fast still so i'm going to increase the time a bit yep let's select the path so hit u two times on the keyboard select the path and i'll just make it just like that yep this is looking much better as you can see also what i'm going to do is increase the size a bit maybe something like this big hit control d to duplicate it displace this again a bit and for this one i'll go with the same color as our logo so we have an interesting look as you can see pretty cool now the third thing that we need to create is a splash when it hits the logo so to create that let's actually create a new composition call this splash sp layer sh 
hit OK. Select the pen tool. We just need the stroke. Let's set this to maybe five pixels. And I can just go and create a very simple path just like so. Just like that. And then go into the stroke. We don't need the fill. We can delete that. Go into the stroke and set this to rounded cap. Add a trim path. And animate this just like we did before. So set this to zero, create a keyframe, go to, I guess, maybe 20 frames, set this to 100 right here. Keyframe, go right here. 100. So let's see what we have. It's a bit too slow. I'll make this a bit closer. Still, I think maybe select this and hit F9. Yep, this is looking much better. Perfect. Let's select this, hit Control D to duplicate it, make this white and rotate it just like that and place it. Oh, let's make sure it's selected, hit V and place it right here. So it starts just like that. Let's duplicate this again, hit Control D, rotate this and place it right here. Select this, hit Control D, rotate it. And we'll place this right here, maybe a bit more. Okay. So we have this very simple splash. You can call it maybe a bit more. Kind of a bursting effect or bursting shapes. So let's bring it down into the main composition and place it into the position that we want. So right here, hit R to rotate it, to bring down the rotation properties actually, and then rotate it. And now we should have, I'll just try to fix the position. And yep, that is that looking pretty good. So let's actually see our complete animation. Yep, so that is looking pretty great. I think very simple animation and looks very interesting. So you can create different number of animation using this technique. You can, you know, you can create a complete swirl effect and then it hits the logo from the top maybe and then the liquid start forming from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top different kind of animation make sure to create them and upload it on youtube and send me the link i'll be happy to check them out and yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment and also follow me on instagram at dope.motion i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative don't get me wrong i love my life these concrete walls these city lights what i'm about to say it won't make no sense but i got